Right, everybody, we're back in the kitchen with Jelly, or actually, we're in the kitchen at Jelly's mama and uh, at my mother's house because I've got a birthday party to go to today, and I'm going to cook some ribs to carry there for my brother-in-law's birthday. And as I said in one of my videos before, one of the great things about Instant Pot is it is portable. And uh, today is going to be country-style ribs. I got about four pounds of ribs and other stuff in here you'll soon see. And we're going to put them in here, cook them while I'm here. And when I leave here, we'll go straight to the birthday party with uh, everything ready. But anyhow, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, here is everything that's going in the country ribs today. Uh, obviously country ribs. And uh, we're going to have a little trouble focusing there. But as you can see, that's, or if you can't see, that's four pounds, a little over four pounds of, uh, of country ribs. Uh, that's from Sam's as I shop there a lot and uh, I'm gonna do three quarters of a cup of beef broth I'm gonna add that to three quarters of a cup of Stubbs Smoky Mesquite I'm gonna put about that much and that's a four ounce container so that's about three ounces of vinegar and I may not use all of that I may use it two ounces is about what I would like to have so I'm just trying to put a little bit of vinegar flavor in it you know I just something I do I'm going, to, I'm going to coat them fairly decent with that butt rub, which is something I use a lot. If you watch my videos, I love the stuff. And then we're going to put them in there, let them cook for 15 minutes at pressure for 15 minutes. And then I'm going to put them in a uh, Pyrex dish, and we're going to uh, uh, brown them off in a broiler. So anyhow, we'll be back just a minute when I got some of that done. Okay, just for the record, you can see about how much butt rub I use. I, I rolled those over all four sides, about that much. And uh, that's about really, that's enough. This will handle more. If you saw my videos on baby backs, I don't put that much on a baby back. But this, kind of a spoiler alert here, these really aren't ribs. They're, they're cut from a shoulder, but they're country ribs. That's what everybody's called, to, called country ribs. All my life, I ate them for years and thought they were ribs, but they're technically not. But anyhow, to get off that subject, it doesn't matter. They're good and everybody loves them. But anyhow, they're usually cut from a shoulder of the hog. But anyhow, there you go. You can see about what I put on them, and they'll stand a lot more of, the, of seasoning than, say, a baby back. That's all my point is. And I'm about to put them in here, and we're going to get them started. Be right back. Okay, as I said, that's about three-quarters of a cup. Of Stubbs barbecue sauce and I do that to give it the flavor while it's cooking because I don't put a uh, I don't stand these up out of the liquid when I'm uh, Cooking country ribs. I, I put them actually in the liquid a little different than I do baby backs But anyhow now all I'm going to do is make this right here come to a, a cup and a half and with beef broth and Then we're going to put those in there and put the lid on and go. And as you can see, organic beef broth is something else from Sam's. <laughs> but anyhow, there you go. Be right back. Okay, that's what they look like in the instant pot. So all we got to do now, put the lid on, set it to seal, touch manual, make sure the pressure is high. And we're going to go to 15 minutes, and that is it. We're going to let that come up to pressure. As you, as you know, count down to 15 minutes. It'll be ready to go back in the Pyrex dish, which I've already rinsed it out, but you have to uh, you have to wash it real good with hot soapy water because it's had pork in it, raw pork, so you don't want any that cross-contamination. <laughs> so be sure you wash, you know, anything you've used. I don't know why I'm going that. I'm sure you know that. But anyhow... Hopefully we'll be back in a minute and we'll get these browned up and be ready to go to a birthday party. All right, the 15 minutes is up and we are about to bleed this down. No, I'm not going to do any natural release. I'm going to do a quick release. And obviously we're going to get them in there and put them in the uh, broiler. But again, you always know, you never have your hand over that. I try to say that on every video. So... That'll take a few minutes to bleed down. I'll, we'll see by the timer how long it takes, and then we'll get them in the uh, in the broiler. Okay, the pan just dropped, so it dropped right at four minutes. 
So if you did the math on everything, if you needed to know, it's about 15 minutes to come up to pressure and probably about 15 minutes to cook. And then uh, uh, four minutes around, 35 minutes, but you know, there's other times involved. But anyhow, we're gonna raise it. I'm gonna let the camera sit back there for a second. Let this thing get going. And I'll show you what they look like, which as always, they look fantastic. We're fixing to take them out and put them in this uh, uh, in this pot or in this Pyrex dish. I'm sorry, we're gonna put them in the Pyrex dish and brown them off just a little bit. So I will get all that set up, but we can do that, and I'll be right back. Okay, there uh, there they are in the dish. I'm going to stick them with this instant read just to. I'm positive they're plenty done, but just to make 100%, you know, we want them above 160 or 145 to 160. I've seen different numbers, but as you can see, there's 183, 185. I don't know if you can see it, but that's what it says. We're at 188 when it, when it says it's at, and that's in the center of one of the thicker ones. So plenty safe to eat, well done. Uh, now I'm going to uh, put a little bit of this barbecue sauce I had left over on them. And then we're going to start the oven on broil. And I'm going to put them in there and let this brown up just a little bit. We're going to put the lid on them and carry them to the birthday party. There's plenty of liquid left in this Instant Pot. And if you wanted to, you could add that. I just don't. Uh, I might save a little bit of this to put on there once I brown them. But the, the liquid in, in the pot is awfully runny. And I just don't want that much loose liquid in it. There's no need in it. In fact, that right there is going to be really close to perfect. I have a feeling. So anyhow, let me get the oven hot and we'll start that process. Okay, now all I'm going to do is I've got the oven on high broil. I've got the rack set fairly high. And as I say in all my videos that I use broil on, I do not walk away from this oven while it's on broil. It, that's a good way to... A lot of bad for a lot of bad things to happen one you'll burn your food I mean it really will but second it, it could be way worse than that I always just stand here it doesn't take long and honestly if you got to leave pull this out and turn it off before you do if you got to walk away you can see it already right there starting to steam off a little bit and all I'm doing all I'm trying to do is caramelize just a little bit nothing drastic on these ribs. I'm fixing to put a lid on them that's going to mess them up a little bit anyhow. I mean, that's just because I have to. I'd rather serve them just like that, but I don't have a choice. I got to put a lid on them to get them where I'm going. I may go with aluminum foil. In fact, I probably am. I think it'll be better. So I'll probably wrap that with aluminum foil rather than putting the lid that comes with it on there. I'm not sure the lid would handle that heat either. So anyhow, you get my, you get the gist of what I'm doing. Are you, it's, it's simple. I mean, it's nothing no one couldn't understand and probably already knows, but I like to say it on my videos. And one other thing, oh, I'll show you a tip. When you're at, at Sam's, when I was looking for this yesterday, I'm headed to a birthday party. So they, here's you a tip. It's close to Easter. It's February the 25th, so there's a lot of stuff out. Well, they didn't have anything great for my brother-in-law for, you know, under $10 for his birthday. So I just repurposed a uh, Easter basket. I mean, that's a tip from old Jelly right there. And uh, it's happy birthday cross out Easter, right birthday, and instant birthday gift. And he, he loves popcorn, so it really worked well. All right, I'm gonna shut the camera off, and I'll tell you how long I go from now. Right now it's, it's like 11.45. I got a feeling it's not gonna be much longer, but there's no need to me standing here watching this. I'm not leaving, and I can tell you that. And uh, when it gets done, I'll pull them out and show you how they look. And I'm going to get them ready to go. But anyhow, I'll be right back. Okay, there they are. You can see I didn't let them go real long. You know, there's really no need in it. The people will eat this just like this every time. I've never, it never fails. Uh, I could have went, went a little bit longer with them, but that's probably five minutes right there. Again, though, don't walk away. Don't rely on how long it takes. Stand there and watch. And, I, and like I said, I just stopped a little earlier than normal. But you know what? They look fine just like that. I, that's perfect is what it is. And uh, 
It's fixing to get eight, I guarantee you. So I'm going to put this aluminum foil on there, and I'm going to drive a few miles to a birthday party. And again, it's in the kitchen with Jelly at Jelly's mother's. <laughs> y'all come back to see me. Like and subscribe if you don't mind. And y'all have a good Sunday afternoon. Okay, just to uh, just to recap, that is how I got back home with them. That's what they look like. Gone. All but one. So what I'm going to do <laughs> is put that on the aluminum foil I used today and that little piece too. I'm going to wrap that up and put it in the refrigerator and that will be supper. But anyhow, they were fantastic. The That Stubbs Smoky Mesquite worked great. So, you know, anyhow, in the kitchen with jelly. Y'all have a good evening.